so in front of us here we've got the setup for the Suzuki multifunction display working with two engines, port and starboard engine. This is the backbone and we've actually marked the port and starboard engine, or rather the port and starboard engine, and their links to their specific gateways. The next step is to tell the gateway which engine it is working for, which one it is providing the data for, and we do that via the display. The way we do that is first of all, we take the starboard engine and we disconnect it from the backbone because we do not want the display seeing that engine while we're doing the setup for the port engine. So our port engine is still connected via its gateway. So we go to the display and we select the engine and we pull in the menu from the left. We select the engine setup and we're then going to go into installation. We tell it that there's two engines. You can see there's one or two engines there. And we move down to gateway settings. And as you can see here, because we've disconnected the starboard engine, we can just see the first engine, which is port. And that's what we want it to be called. So we won't change the name there. But importantly, we must add the engine number in by pressing the small keyboard here and entering our engine number. And that way, if we use the QR code to send to our dealership or send ashore, then it will go through with the unique number for the engine. So we've set up the first one. We apply the gateway settings. We then repeat the process, reconnecting the starboard engine. And that's to make sure that the display can only see one gateway at a time when we're telling it which one is which. So I've disconnected the port engine. I then go back to the engine setup screen. And now, as you can see, it's seeing the second engine, which is actually our starboard engine. So we need to rename it. There are two engines. And then we're going to set the engine serial number. like that. And now we have the starboard engine set and we apply the gateway settings. Once completed, reconnect the starboard engine to the backbone and you've completed your installation. So that completes the setting and the instance setting for the two gateways. For more information, talk to the dealer, consult the manual or look out for these short videos.